Welcome to our presentation of MTX's ticket queuing system for managers. Ticket queuing greatly reduces the need to individually schedule tickets with specific dates and times and provides a more dynamic approach to assigning and ordering work. Each person will have their own personalized queue, making it easy for them to see which tickets they should work on next, as well as provide a view of future work with its expected order of completion. MTX's queue system takes advantage of ConnectWise's teams, member skills, spectator schedules, ticket schedules, ticket owner, ticket type, subtype, and item to target the necessary individual or individuals to work on a ticket. For this demo, I will be queuing seven tickets from our demo board. ConnectWise's service board teams play an important part in ticket queuing as they are the first property MTX uses to determine which person's a queue ticket should be placed in. For example, if I add a ticket into the queue and the tickets team is set to help desk, then all members of help desk will see the ticket within their queue. There are four ways to add a ticket to the queue. First, from the ticket listing page by clicking the add queue icon under the assigned column. Second, when viewing a ticket, by clicking the add icon in the title bar. Third, by clicking the ticket checkbox and selecting add to ticket queue from the drop down for actions. And fourth, by changing the ticket status to queued if such a status exists for that ticket's board. Note, only non-scheduled tickets can be manually added to the queue, so these options are only available on tickets that do not have open dated scheduled records. Dated scheduled tickets will automatically show in one's queue on the day the ticket is scheduled for. I am going to go ahead and add a ticket to the queue. MTX's queue system comes with a default rule which uses the Tickets ConnectWise Service Board team as the first property to use to determine which person a queue's ticket should be placed in. For example, if I add a ticket into the queue and the tickets team is Help Desk, then all members of Help Desk will see the ticket within their queue. After a ticket has been added to the queue, I can click on the ticket's queue icon or target description to bring up the queue targeting information. Within this view, I also have the option to remove a ticket from the queue or move the ticket to the front or back of the queue. When a ticket is added to the queue, it is always added to the back of the queue. MTX's default rule will also automatically apply any ticket type, subtype, or item that matches a member skill. In this example, the subtype is set to Outlook, and everyone on the help desk team with the skill Outlook will automatically be targeted for this ticket. I can choose to further narrow the targeting to those with advanced skills or better. I could also go ahead and require a certification of Outlook. If your company does not currently use skills, then our recommendation would be to generate skills to match existing type, subtype, and item descriptions for automatic targeting. If you have existing skills that are different from your TSI descriptions, then you can create custom queue targeting rules to map TSI information to specific skill requirements. I am going to go ahead and create a custom queue targeting rule named Limit Servers to Company Team. Specifically, I'm going to assure that all tickets related to a customer's server is targeted to members of the assigned company team rather than the specific board or board team assigned. Now, when I attempt to queue this ticket, MTX suggests I set the ticket type, subtype, and item information for this ticket. 
This automatically occurred as the information was not yet populated, but I now have a Q targeting rule that may need this information to determine if the rule should match the ticket. When I view this ticket's Q information, it will also show me which rule matched this ticket. Hey, tickets Q targeting can also be modified by having spectators or an assigned owner to the ticket. A spectator is an individual who's been signed to a ticket with no date or time and is not flagged as a ticket owner. You also have the option for your targeting rules to ignore spectator tickets uh, schedule records outright. Uh, you can do a limit to, which is the system default. And under that, um, anyone who's been assigned as a spectator will automatically be a targeted member for the ticket. Uh, but once a ticket owner has been assigned, then the queuing system will only target the assigned ticket owner. And you also have an include option, which will allow you to add uh, spectators to the potential targeted resource list. For this ticket, Karen is the only spectator assigned to the ticket. From this view, I can quickly add two more individuals to be queue targets for this ticket. Of course, I could elevate Karen to the owner of the ticket, which would leave the two the Of course, I could elevate Karen to the owner of the ticket, which would leave the other two to see communications regarding this ticket, but now the ticket will only show in Karen's queue. Much like assigning schedules, if I have spectators assigned, I can send a ticket notification. In addition, I could opt to schedule or dispatch the ticket instead. Even without assigned spectators, I can further customize queue targeting by manually unchecking members. If I make custom changes to the queue targeting, I can always click on Reset to Rules to return targeting back to the system defaults. I can also choose to manually change the targeting parameters for the ticket. With this ticket, I am going to require the skill Sonic Wall and uncheck myself as a target. Now, as you can see here, it's uh, giving me an alert saying that this person um, is on vacation to Wednesday, even though they're the only targeted member. If I'm ever concerned about whether people are unavailable uh, for a queue, I can always do a scan queue validity test. And as you can see here, it has found that specific ticket um, basically stating that uh, no one currently is working today to work on that ticket. To assist in triaging, a show tickets not queued or scheduled button has been provided, making it easy for one to review unqueued and unscheduled tickets. Let's add the remaining tickets to the queue and then see what the queue itself looks like. To access your queue, move to the My Queue tab. Even though we added seven tickets to the queue, My Queue only shows four. This is because I am not a queue target for the other three tickets. You can opt to see others' queues as well. If I select Tracy, I will now see all the tickets queued for her. I can also filter the drop-down list of members to a specific team. I can use then the left and right arrows to flip through each team member's queue view. You can view the entire system queue by selecting System from the drop-down. This system queue will present all queued tickets. 
you may also notice that you cannot sort queued tickets by column as the queue is presented in its default first in first out order. You can change the order in which work is performed. For example, I may wish to have an emergency ticket be placed at the top of the queue so that it is the next ticket worked on. This can be achieved by dragging and dropping tickets to rearrange the queue. For working on tickets within the queue, we recommend you view our MTX queue for team members video. Also, as skills can be an important asset for queue targeting, we recommend using MTX's skill management and my skills tools. We hope you and your team can leverage our ticket queuing system to improve your workflow.